mistaken for a teenage boy all the time. Okay, I know, I know, I, all the time. I can't just use public, you guys are like sad for me already. Well, this is good. Um, I can't just use public restrooms, you know what I mean? Like some of you women who look like women, if I may point, very nice, uh, congratulations. You look like women, a woman all the time. So when you're out with your friends, like you have to pee, you stand up and you go, I have to pee, and you pee. But when I have to pee, I go, I have to pee, shit, which is really confusing for the bladder. <laughs> But I go into the restrooms, guys, and I try to be really quick about it. Like, I'm washing my hands. I'm trying to be, do the best I can. There's always one woman that walks in and goes, Excuse me, sir. Uh, you're in the wrong bathroom. And I am not a confrontational person, okay? So I'm like, thank you very much. <laughs> so I have exiled myself. I am exiled. I only go to the handicap stalls. You know what I'm talking about? In the airport where there's the big wooden door. You know, you walk in, you know, it, it, and it's kind of a sad life. It is. But really it's not. Because don't lie. What is the first stall that you all check when you walk into the bathroom? The handicap stall. You walk in, you peek in. It's go in. Go into the handicap stall, you guys. It is big. It is spacious in the handicap stall, okay? Some of them handicap stalls are so big, you can play racquetball in some of the handicap stalls. I am serious. And the toilets are really high, so it's like a you said they got armrests. You are a queen. You are a queen watching racquetball, okay? <laughs> take your time. Order a pizza. You are a queen. Don't take your time, okay? Because if you take your time and you walk out and there's a line of handicapped people, you better fake a limp real quick. <laughs> okay, take it from me. Take it from me. And also, sorry, communion. <laughs> My dad is a Southern Baptist minister, as I mentioned earlier. And um, so growing up, naturally, I had a best friend. And my best friend was named Jesus Christ. <laughs> he was my best friend. Okay, while the neighbors were playing cops and robbers, I was at home playing Jesus and robbers. Which is a really, 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 really messed up game. Because I would keep catching them, but Jesus would keep forgiving them. <laughs> over and over and over again. I mean, what, but as a kid, there's nothing more exciting. Uh, as a Christian kid, there's nothing more exciting as summertime because summertime is time for Jesus camp. Okay, I don't know if you guys have been to Jesus camp, but if you go, they sell you like popsicles and there's a lake you swim in, and then you go in, you all gather in a room, kind of like this one, and you all sing songs for Jesus. Right? It, it's my favorite. It was awesome. And my last Jesus camp was in eighth grade. There was a guy named Justin, okay? He stood up in a room full of Pentecostal Christians. I couldn't believe he did this. He stood up and he announced, Hello, my name is Justin, and I am a bisexual. <laughs> now, I didn't know what that was. I knew it was bad, and I knew he was crazy, because you do not know what a Pentecostal is about to do, okay? We all know this with the oils, with the cape, with the flying, with the tongues. you got to be brave to be doing that in a room of Pentecostal people. And Mary was up front, not Jesus' mother Mary, okay, guys, a camp counselor, okay, was up front, and she said, Justin, child of God, come up to the front. Now, if you've never been at Jesus camp, when they call you child of God, you are fucked. I'm just saying. <laughs> you are in trouble. So he comes up to the front, sits down, and she says, Liana, will you come help me, darling? And I'm like, oh, man, child of God, okay. <laughs> Walk up there to the front. She says, you know you're anointed, right? And I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to brag, but yeah, I know. But I, no, okay, good. I need you to try to cast the homosexual demons out of his body. That's okay. Okay, so I laid my hands on him, and I prayed the best prayer I could think of, which went like this. Dear Jesus, please cast the homosexual demons out of Justin's body. Amen. And I swear to God, they came out of him and into me, okay? <laughs> It was just like the movie Ghost, except for there was no one there to be like, Molly, you in danger, girl. <laughs> no one. I saw a rainbow flash. I saw a sheep. I still don't know what happened. That happened to the sheep. It was a welcoming sheep. I don't know, but I saw it. <laughs> Went home. Hey, Mom, Jesus made me gay. She was pissed. <laughs> she tried to get a refund. <laughs> My mom to this day, she's so funny. She's like, Liana, you're going to hell. Holidays are fun. Holidays are a lot of fun. I never get why you would tell a lesbian that she's going to hell. 
because be, be, because she's a lesbian. So you basically you're telling me I have to go to a place where there's lesbians all the time, that it's hot and sweaty. Like that doesn't make a damn bit of sense. <laughs> if you want to save a lesbian, this is what you do. Okay, just you're welcome. You tell her she's gonna go to a place where it's filled with men who are wearing vests that she can't borrow. Like that. That, <laughs> that pisses us off. Like then we'll repent. Then we'll be like, hmm, okay, heterosexuality. I can't even say it. I'm like, oh yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not heterophobic. I don't know why I'm talking about this now. It's okay. Sometimes you ad lib as a comic and it goes places you didn't think about. That's fine. <laughs> As an adult, though, they are, we're mean to each other. We're like, you're going to hell. And the Bible says this, right? But as a kid, they brainwash you through music. Okay. This was my favorite song as a kid. It went like this. When the toast is burned and all the milk has turned and Captain Crunch is waving farewell. When the big one finds you, may the song remind you that they don't serve breakfast in hell. Isn't that messed up? <laughs> First, did anybody ask Captain Crunch for his permission to turn against the children? Anybody? And second, the tactic is what I question again. So they don't serve breakfast in hell. Okay. I mean, does anyone like breakfast that much? Like, do, do they serve brunch? I mean, I could do brunch. I could stand in line behind the lesbians. I'd be fine.